Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. I'm Levi. And we are in a Wisconsin garage. <laughs> well, we're traveling across the country and we are in Madison, Wisconsin, and a friend of ours, Levi, was kind enough to put us up in his driveway with the Bourbon Van. So, Today we decided it would be a good idea to try three Wisconsin whiskeys. We've never seen these anywhere before and uh, we went to the liquor store together. Had a great time. Oh, great time. Always fun going to the liquor store with friends. Found three really solid bottles that we're quite excited about by three brands that we saw pretty frequently when we were going from liquor store to liquor store. So the idea behind this video is that we're going to try these three, see how we like each of them, and hopefully if you find yourself in Wisconsin or purchasing Wisconsin whiskey, this will help you make a decision on which one to choose. All right, so we are going to taste each one of these three whiskeys. We're gonna start with the lowest proof one, work our way up, and at the end, we'll just say which one we like the best. Does that sound good? I think it's great. All right, fantastic. We are starting off with this bottle right here. This is J. Henry Wisconsin Straight Bourbon Whiskey, aged five years. We're starting with it because it's the lowest proof. It's 92 proof. The claim to fame here seems to be that they use red corn. You know anything about red corn? Um, it's red. Huh? It seems like it'd make a good Thanksgiving uh, arrangement. Part of a cornucopia. Oh, a cornucopia, well, yeah. There you go, J. Henry, 92 proof. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check out the nose and uh, palette and finish. We're gonna do these one after another. We're not gonna get overly comparative or super scientific with it. By the way, we're in a, just your typical Wisconsin garage today. Yeah. Yep. yep. No, no mountains here, no rivers, no deer in the background, no random wolf dogs, just just a garage. Yeah, some yard tools. Yeah. Yard tools. Exposed to interior. Yeah. yeah. I like what you've done with the place. Thanks. A little storage. You didn't come here for garage storage solutions. You came here <laughs> for the whiskey. So let's get right to it. Julie and I are going to share a glass because... We're on the road and room. we have limited supplies. Right. We have all the whiskey, very few glasses. Well, right off the bat, what I know is that I got cola, that sort of nose that you get a lot of times, not just from craft distilleries, but distilleries that are seemingly west of the Mississippi. We are currently east of the Mississippi, so it's not just that <laughs> that delineates it, but a little bit of cola, some milk chocolate, maybe ginger or clove or something. There's something spicy happening there. I was thinking there's a, it almost feels like a rye spice that's involved with this. Definitely some caramels melted in there. Probably a little vanilla. I'm, I'm intrigued. Get some like cocktail cherry kind of. Ooh, nice. Oh, I don't like that note. All right. Bring I think, Levi along. I yeah, like this. Look at Levi go. Yeah. All right, let's go in for a sip. What do you say? Let's do it. I'm showing some leg down here. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> it has a little bit of a corniness to it, for sure. Mm -hmm. It definitely drinks warmer than that 92 proof point, I think. I would agree. It's a... It, it, I'm getting a little bit of that rye spice dance on my tongue, mm. which is weird because it's not a rye. No. So this one is earthy, a little savory, a little spicy. It is pretty well balanced and it's aged five years. I believe it's the oldest of this group here. So that's, it's interesting that it's, uh, that it's got so much spice to it, but it's got such a youthful corn note to it somehow mm -hmm. as well. There's still some flavor sticking out here and there. There's got a little bit of like baking cinnamon on the nose. Uh, so yeah. when I went to go take my sip, all I smelled was like if you opened up a can of cinnamon or a jar of cinnamon, whatever. That's the little sprinkle I got there, which kind yeah. of added to the palate. I would agree with all that. There you go. <laughs> Let's do a general feeling on this one. I like it. What do you think? I'm holding judgment. I'm in the middle. Yeah. I, I think that it's pleasant. I like drinking it. I, it's not the most flavorful one that I've had before, but I don't, it's not tipping the scale to not liking it. Yeah. Yeah, I would actually agree with Julie. I think there's something in here I kind of need to explore some more, but yeah. overall, um, I'm not like blown away by it, but I think there might be some depth that I need to, to search for. Yeah, I would agree that uh, this is, it's not gonna really wow too many palettes, but I do like what's there, it's nice. I also wanna say, glad to have Levi. Um, my team. Everybody's on here. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping up just a little bit in proof here. This is Driftless Glen, aged five years. This is a single barrel, so will vary from barrel to barrel. This one here, 96 proof, and 
it's a festival, uh, festival is the- Festival foods. The grocery, grocery store right here. Okay, hand selected. And uh, yeah, 96 proof. And we keep hearing good things about this one. So pretty excited, Driftless Glen. Um, Great cork. I was gonna say, great cork there. Love yeah. the bottle design, though this bottle design does tend to have a little more, keep a little moisture in there. Well, and there's already a, some in there. And it's a humid day here in Wisconsin. <laughs> they also say they've touched each bottle, so with two thumbs up, share our dream. And the side of the bottle has their thumb, their fingerprints on it. Oh, see, yeah. that's, I love a good bottle. It's nice. <laughs> Viva, what do you got there? Is that a uh, the 2021 yeah. Patreon glass? 2021, the first two are. How about that? It. It's a good looking glass, I think. The bourbon tastes better when I drink out of this. Is that right? I don't know what it is. Or something I'm not surprised by that. I'm not surprised either. So right off the bat, I like this nose a lot better. Am I allowed to say that already? I think that's fair. Okay. I'm getting maple syrup. Ooh. And sugar. Vanilla. I'm just getting a lot more on this nose than I got yeah. on the first one. And it's sweeter, so we can already tell where this is going to head. Yeah, I get way less of that cola note. Totally different off the nose. All the things that you just said. A little hint of cinnamon. It's nice. It's, yeah, the spice on the first one and the cola and maybe that youthful corn note, which is mm -hmm. funny because they're both aged five years. Yeah. This is definitely bringing something different to the table. Mm -hmm. I agree. This one's much more uh, inviting, at least on the nose. I like that. Well, I'd like to invite you to take a sip of it. I'd like some pancakes as well. <laughs> hmm. That is a little interesting. That one got cinnamony too. A little melted caramel there. It was. It's almost a little bready, almost. I would say a baked good of some sort. It's really spicy on the back of the palate. The further it goes to the back of your tongue, the more of that cinnamon sort of spice you get. Maybe even an. I would say an oak spice, yeah. which is a little. It's interesting on a bottle that's only five years aged to get that much oak spice less the oak character. Yeah, the pancake maple syrup sort of thing continues from the nose to the palate. You're right about the breadiness of it. I know, it's almost like a sticky bun or something. Mm, yeah. yeah. Is that a thing here in Wisconsin, sticky buns? It's a thing everywhere, right? Yeah, I think it is, yeah. <laughs> so humid, you know, we got some sticky buns going on right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the truth. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm getting a little bit of cherry cola on this one. Mm. Which is kind of funny, because I know you were getting that on the other one. I wasn't getting that quite as much. Maybe it's just a little bit more pronounced. Maybe that's the Wisconsin sign-off. Do you think? The yeah. Wisconsin sign-off? Yeah. Okay, maybe. <laughs> I'm sucking this one down a lot faster. Yeah. Well, we got more. I think it tastes like butter pecans. I think you're right. I don't, I don't know if it's a butter pecan ice cream or we just had a boatload of ice cream, <laughs> literally 30 minutes ago. Yeah, we ate our weight in ice cream. I don't know if that's good for tasting or not. I don't know But either. it tasted good. But this kind of has a butter pecanness to it. And I, we drank it all, and I'm gonna finish it right now. There it goes. Was it just as good? Yeah, I like it. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, right. the, uh, that butteriness, I, I can see that. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert, I like this one better than the other one. Okay. Yes. And I like the bottle. Though this is a great bottle, because this, I always... Uh, the first two are both great bottles. I know. Yeah. I'm always a little, like, wishy-washy when something looks like a wine bottle. Well, spoiler alert one more time, because the next one is from Wollersheim Distillery, Wisconsin Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And Wollersheim, what do we know about that? Is a former, or is a current winery that yeah. is now in the distillery game? Big winery, uh, locally, and I think just in the last decade, or less, started uh, dipping into the spirits. Like it. Established 1876, reawakened 2015. Well, that's happening with a lot of brands and a lot of good brands. So I'm excited about this one. Uh, this is a single barrel again. So again, variants from barrel to barrel. This is aged four years and the proof of 121.2. So we are launching up in proof. Ramping up. Um, from, one, from 96 to 121. So um, expect a little heat on this one. Um, again, hand selected by Festival Foods. Yeah. Another shout out to the grocery chain here. Wollersheim Distillery, glass number two. Let's go to the nose on this one. Okay. This smells like melted butter too. Are you getting that, Levi? Like a butter, like a butter and sugar melting pot? Melting yeah. pot. Yeah. Maybe some honey. Ooh, honey, yeah. A little nuttiness on it? Yeah. Ooh. 
There's some richness here. I definitely see the honey there. It's more delicate in the nose. I would agree with that. All right, let's take a sip of this one. She's a spicy lady. Right? Yeah. Is it a Wisconsin hug? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Woo! Woo! My whole mouth is numb all of a sudden. Wow. I don't know what those spices are, but there's a lot of them. Yes. This goes, this guy go, kind of turns the corner on bourbon. Like we just went and then like hung it's a left hard into left. Spice Town. <laughs> spice Town. Yeah. There's, I'm getting some fruit under there though. Mmm. Like a strawberry fruit or something. Mm -hmm. What about like a fruit cocktail? Mmm. You know, it still has a little bit of the juice in it on like the cherry and the pineapple and maybe like whatever other fruits are in there. They all kind of meld together. Well, the finish is almost like a caramel sauce on top of some type of fruit. The, the finish is actually really nice. It's super sweet. It, yeah. What's hanging around, even though it's all spice on the palate, the finish is all sweetness. I actually really like what's happening on the back end of this one. I think it's unusual that my favorite part of a whiskey is the finish. It's usually the nose or almost always the palate, but the finish on this one is my favorite part. Yeah, I'd say it's like a sweet and spicy. Yes. Yeah, you take the yeah. ride on this one. It's not like a perfect balance all the time. Mm -mm. It takes it, it takes you on a ride. Yeah, you're kind of, you're going back and forth. You're kind of getting both at the same time. She's Ooh, a hot gal. It's a hot gal. Yeah. We're getting a nice uh, Wisconsin snuggle. I don't know if we can go with hug, because <laughs> Kentucky's got the hug. So yeah. what about a little... Scarf or Wisconsin? The Wisconsin Snug? The, oh, the Snuggie. What about the Wisconsin Snuggie? Oh, well, I'll probably get copyrighted yeah, by that. that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's an interesting whiskey. And I'm not, that one, I would withhold saying that I really, really like it. Mm. Um, because there's definitely a couple of dings against it. But I would say that the mouthfeel on this one probably stands out more than the others. I think, I think the mouthfeel is the best one. It coats, the finish yeah. is fantastic. That fruit is hanging around. So almost like a candied strawberry, I would agree on the, on the finish here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to like there, there's a lot to explore there, and that's a bottle that we're definitely gonna spend some more time with, but so spicy. If you like a spicy whiskey, that's a really solid one, but um, I don't know, do you have any more tasting notes on any of these before we go into choosing our favorite of the day? So I just picked up the J. Henry. The nose is all bananas now. What? I know. Dang. This is what I'm saying, like when you mix and match, Weird things happen. Are you getting bananas? Maybe maybe a little banana Latin taffy. Oh, yeah, Latin taffy, sure. Not real banana, definitely artificial. But a lot of brown, like dark brown sugar in it too. I'm gonna take another step of this one. Please? So this is interesting, this Wollershine, I wouldn't say it's my favorite profile. Mm -hmm. Very spicy, pretty, pretty warm, a little bitter on the back end. But you almost enjoy the ride on that one. It's intense. Whereas the J. Henry, like, that's that sip after we've tried them all. It was very pleasant, very easy to drink. The flavor started coming out a little bit more. I'm intrigued by the Wooler Shine, but I don't know if I particularly enjoyed it. Like, loved yeah, that's it. That's an interesting Yeah, like, like, I really liked the ride, but I don't know if I would drink it on a regular basis. There's a tiny splash of the Driftless Glen left, and I'm going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need to circle back. All right, so that is the Wisconsin bourbon tasting for the three brands that we found the most interesting on the shelves. We need to tell you which one we liked best. Julie, what's your favorite? It's not gonna be a surprise. I like that Driftless Glen. Driftless Glen for you. Levi, what's your favorite? Uh, I'm gonna second vote for that one. Two high fives. A couple high fives here. Um, I'm gonna make it unanimous. <gasps> Driftless Glen. That's a very, very solid whiskey, and even though it's a little thinner than the others, mm -hmm. I think the flavor profile appealed to us the most. It's very sweet, and somehow there's a ton going on there. There's a lot of different flavors to yeah. explore, and um, I like to hold this bottle by the fingerprints, which is just perfect, but there you go. Driftless Glen wins today, but there are no losers here. The J. Henry is quite good. The Wollersheim Distillery, um, Interesting. It's, it's an intense whiskey, yeah. and uh, I look forward to exploring more of the flavors in that bottle as well. Um, I just uh, got a little peanut butter. Where'd that, that come from? One of the bottles. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So I, that's a solid I, tasting note from the bourbon band. At any time, if you drink one of these, maybe peanut butter will show up. Well, I want to thank Levi and all the Wisconsinites for such a warm welcome. It is very warm, very humid here, so we are going to wrap this up. But if you'd like to see some of our travel videos, you can check us out on Patreon. If you want to see some of our outdoor photography, check us out on Instagram at the bourbon van. And from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> oh, yay! Would you like a cheese? This oh, I love Wisconsin. Bonus tasting.
this uh, Bella Vitano Tennessee whiskey cheese. Oh my gosh. So I suspect that's a dickle cheese. Doesn't taste like dickle. There's a little whiskey note though. I'm uh, digging this applewood smoked cheddar. It is delicious. You don't even need the sausage part or the cracker. This is... No, good. it's pretty much got it all going on right yeah. there. Thank you for the cheese, Levi. You're welcome. Wisconsin! <laughs>